Hey everyone, in today's episode I'm going to show you how to create a much more interesting transition from one state to another. So let's crack on. Hello and welcome. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're having a good day. And I hope you're having a good week. Um, today we're going to do a very relatively short video I think on how to improve the transitions from state to state. This is something we need to get done early. Um, I appreciate we're not really getting into the nuts and bolts of a tower defense game yet but it's well worth getting this stuff sorted out. I'll just show you that again what I just did there. I don't know if it was apparent. The beauty of this something like this is you can choose your own way of transitioning. Right. So if I just run this we've got our system. You may notice there's sound now. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. It's very very easy. Uh, and, um, and when I click on X you can see it drops down from the top rather than just a snap it actually drops down now there's nothing actually here now and you'll also see by the way that I've added uh, some sprites uh, I've kind of improved 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 maybe the the road <laughs> the path that is taken uh, but uh, um, yeah so generally just just made that look a little bit better so we're working through we're trying to create an environment there but the point being this that's not the uh, purpose of this video it's uh, like I say just to show that that smooth transition from one scene to another and we can and we can use that for every scene uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed the series. If you are, please uh, put, throw a like and a subscribe in. A comment would be amazing. Just to let me know that you're interested in doing these Pico 8 tower defense games uh, you know, and stuff like that. That would be really, really useful. Just keeps me keeps me going and make, and keeps, make sure that uh, I'm actually producing content that people want to see. Okay, so what I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to uh, code it line by line. I'm actually what I'm going to do is just show you the code as it works. Right? I will make this available on GitHub and I'll put a link to that down below very very shortly uh, uh, in the description so you'll see that there so let's have a little look what I've done is create a new state and it's called a transition state now sit down have a cup of coffee get ready we had a method earlier on called change state and it didn't do very much but let's just have a little think about what we're doing when we're transitioning realistically now we have kind of three states right we have the state that it was before we have the state that we want to go to and we have this state that is saying, I, I will handle the transition between those two. Okay. So what you'll see here in the change state now is I've created three <laughs> init updates and draws uh, references, right? So A in it is the uh, active in it is what I've called it, right? And that is the, what is the current uh, C in it? What is the current C update? And what is the current C draw? Right. The new in it is new in it one. And let's just have a look here. New in it one, new update one, and new draw one. And the current in it now I'm replacing with this transitions game uh, state. Right. So this is the new one. So this is going to call C in it is the transition in it. C update is the transition update, and C draw is the transition draw. Right. So that's this state here. And we're going to call current in it, and we'll call also the new in it. Right, so so that, that 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 new state also gets initialized. Uh, we don't know what that state's going to be yet. Um, if we go up to here, we can see I've got a couple of um, values in the transition in it. Transitioning equals true. Now this is important because the other two up state statements are going to still be running, and the, and the other two draw statements are still going to be running. So they may wish to check if the transitioning is taking place. Now a really good example for this, if I just press Control R, and it's going to be difficult. In fact, what I might do is just give you a little sneak peek of something that I did on the main menu here. I did this little check here, you see, to say don't do anything if it's transitioning. But let's just re let's just comment that out. Imagine that wasn't there. All right. And by the way, if you want to, you don't have to use this. Uh, um, I'll, I'll put this code in and then you can use it. But actually, the change state from the previous video is as good as is good to use as well. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky to show. Actually if I just do if I slow down the transition as well. If I just make that one there. Okay, now if I, okay, what have I done wrong? Yep, I've put a quote in there by mistake. Um, if I just press Control R right now, if I move around as usual, okay, if I press X now to go to the new game, you can actually see that I can still move the things around. That's not good, right? So what we wanted to do in our update, um, in our menu, well, any any of the menus actually, any of the update statements, we need to say if you're transitioning. Don't, you know, please don't accept any key presses. Um, it's things like that. So hang on, let me put this back here. I've lost, this is the transition, that's why. This is the main menu. So we're saying continue to update the colors, right? We're gonna do that every 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 update, but we're not gonna start, once we move to transitioning, then don't accept any button presses, you know, don't accept any Xs. You can imagine that could be disaster, right? You might end up going to the options screen while the thing was transitioning. So you don't want anything like that. Um, so that's what that transition is for. 
all right? And then clip Y equals zero. So what this transition does is it uses a feature called clip or a function called clip in uh, in, in Pico A. And what clip does is actually take an area of the, of the screen and uh, make that the only bit that the draw function can draw to. All right, now, so by, by doing that, what we can do is gradually increase that, draw the old one, okay, to a clipped area, and then with the new one, gradually increase that one's new space so it, so it transitions in. Okay, so it's kind of clever. Now, the only thing that's the problem with this is you can't use CLS anymore. If you use CLS, clear screen, then it um, then it basically it messes clip up right it messes it up because it just clears the whole thing regardless of what of what um, it doesn't it doesn't care about the clip statement. Uh, I'll put a link in. Let me just make some notes on this. I'll put a link into clip. Um, but with something like this, you see, you can be pretty cool uh, and create clip left to right, up to down. You can even do you can even do clipping uh, coming outwards if you wanted to from the center or in, yeah, from the outside to to the center. So let's just have a look and see how this works. Um, and the transition statement. You can see here all we're doing, and actually I will speed this up, That's this is, the, this is kind of the speed that it moves down. Um, it runs the active update and it runs the new update every frame. Right, so it's still doing that. Right, so the active update and the new and the new update is running. And then it checks to say, well look, has the clip gone past full screen? If it has, transitions over. And this is what the transitions over looks like. It says, yep, Time to set the new, the current transit, current init to new init, current update to new update, and current draw to new draw. Um, clip basically resets any clipping, right? And transitioning goes to false, right? You'll notice that we didn't call uh, new init there because remember we called it during the change state. I hope you're with me so far. I will, like I say, I will make this available. So the key thing about this one here is the draw statement, um, transition draw, and this is clearing the screen. It's doing a new the new state draw, then it's clipping, okay, zero comma clip y, which starts at zero, and then and then all the way down. So actually, it will drop below the screen actually, so you don't care about that. But and then it'll draw the active, right? So it's gradually increasing the new uh, state's screen, right? Um, and if we go over to, uh, let's pick the main menu, in the draw here, you'll notice now I've created this method called TCLS. And if we pop over to the transition state, all the TCLS does is it does a rectangular fill. Basically, the, you know, a full screen rectangular fill of the color. So it's kind of like clear screen one, right? or clear screen rather, but, it, but it's, just, it's just filling it with a rectangle instead. Took me a while to work that out. <laughs> I hope that makes some sense, right? Um, so if we look at the um, effect that it has, right, we can just press X there and see that it slides down. Okay. A couple of things worth mentioning. You heard that noise there. So let's just pop over to the main menu. You'll notice now in the uh, that, that, that there, or you'll hear that there are sounds now, and you'll see I've created a couple of SFXs, right? Sound effects. SFX zero when you press up or down and SFX1 when you hit the X button. Let's have a quick look at those. This is SFX0, nothing special, all right? Just literally speed two and a low value there. Well, we could try something else. If you click on that and press, don't know, maybe slow it down. I don't, you can play with this to your heart's content, right? I'm gonna uh, click on that, uh, that again and then just uh, bring it to two. And SFX1 is like a bloop sound, all right? Sort of a, going up success sound right and then if we go into our logic here you see sfx1 i'll put in the new just so i'm was sure to make a note of it so do that okay so we've moved down we get those noises and if we press x we get that thing there the transition kicks off and we're here now you'll notice that i've added a bit a bit of text at the top there the idea of this game is that you're going to have a health you can have a health bar or a health value that says 100. Maybe we can make that a health bar. We could make that a health bar. We might even work on that later on. You've got a certain amount of money that you can spend, and obviously killing the enemies will give you more money, and you have a wave there. I don't actually know if that, that almost looks like a W. It looks like a U, rather. So I'm not sure whether I need to put wave car on or something like that. My intention is that the bottom blue section will, will have a set of icons that you can go left and right on. So it will be the ability to place at different turrets as well as an upgrade icon and a delete icon, 
right? And possibly a you know start wave icon, something like that, so we can go across and create all those icons, right? So I hope that made sense. If you if if you if you want to download the code, the link to the code will also you'll be able to just look at it, but um, um and and see it there. I will make this available, like I say. Um, and we and you yeah, please put in any comments and let me know. In the next episode, we'll actually create a an enemy and get him to go across the screen. All right. So until next time, I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye bye.